Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the heavyweight bout in PFL between Hennon Ferreira versus Matthias Sheffield. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going to average confidence Hennon Ferreira to beat Matthias Sheffield. And it's kind of crazy, like Hennon Ferreira went from having that performance against Fabricio Ordun, which later was turned to no contest and being this big scary fighter, a big marketable fighter as well, like, you know, they started to... PFL started to mark him a lot as well after that performance. Even though, even though it was turned to no confidence, I said no confidence, a no, con a no contest. They still saw him as this big, monstrous heavyweight. Oh, we got this big monster in our, in our league. And, you know, this big, marketable monster. Even got that monster voice. Like, they thought we had something. And then, like, just see, oh, he not who he thought he was. So he went, like, kind of flat, fast, what? Uh, rewind back, he probably would have been. And if this match was scheduled, rewind back some years or a year or a year and a half, something some ago, he would have been probably a lot of confidence for many people over Matthias Sheffield. But now it's kind of like, I think he actually might be even be the dog. I'm not even looking at the odds right now or I haven't looked at the odds, but I don't know what it is. By the way, they ain't what they would have used to be. This is a much tougher pick and fight. But yeah, I'm going to average confidence, um, hitting forever to beat Matthias Sheffield. And where I think also you can have a little bit more confidence, you can feel a little bit more comfortable. Like, ah, I feel a little bit more comfortable. Is the fact that when you look at who um, Hennon Ferreira loses to, has been grapplers, and Matthias Sheffield is just a chinny striker. And it could be an issue if um, Hennon Ferreira isn't able to get him out of there early and then turn to like a second and third round fight and get a little bit tired. But then again, also, does he get tired because he just gets tired or because he's going with grapplers who ever take him down and lay on him and have him, you know, put that weight on top of his weight? He already got that big heavy body, all that weight on his heart. And they got another 250 pound man laying on you. Like, is that why you're getting tired? Or is it just like you just got no cardio in general? And yeah, one thing for sure he ain't going to worry about Matthias Sheffield is getting taken down. He might get knocked, dropped, and laid on, maybe. But as far as takedowns, he had not really have to worry about too much wrestling. He should be definitely be the better wrestler, grappler, BJJ guy than, um, than um, Matthias Sheffield. So that's all I'm saying. But yeah, what I think I'm going to think um, not just I think it's a good stylistic matchup at least for Henry Ferreira. I think he'd be able to go out there, pressure, crack um, Matthias Sheffield with some big shots, drop him, get on top, and then. Have Matthias Sheffield have a mountain on top of him, just dropping heavy ground and pound on him and put him to sleep in that first round. So in this one, I have Henning Ferreira via first round TKO.